Welcome to Red Lion's Crimson video training series. In today's video, we're going to give an introduction of Crimson. First, let's start off with where to find Crimson. Crimson is available for download from our website, redlion.net. It can be found under the support tab. Software firmware. Go to Red Lion software. Go to Crimson. Here you will find multiple versions of Crimson. Depending on the product that you will be working on, will depend on the version of Crimson that will be used. All versions of Crimson support multiple products, so just ensure your product is supported on the version you are using. In our case, we're going to select Crimson 3.2, which is the most recent and the current version supported for all DA, Graphite, and CR line of products. You'll see the download option, as well as a brief description and an overview of Crimson. Once we get inside Crimson, we'll be able to see the different products that are supported by the software. Now that you've downloaded and installed Crimson, let's talk a little bit about a few of the features. Crimson is our one-stop shop for your device configuration, user interface creation, any scripting, and any type of device control. This includes inputs, outputs, and different networking features as well, depending on the product. You can see here it has three different sections, the navigation pane, the interface pane, and the resource pane. The navigation pane will take you to the different menus based on whatever your needs are, whether it be configuring the actual hardware itself and the different interfaces attached to it, setting up protocol conversion, or adding different devices and configuring different connections to different devices or softwares, creating data tags, setting the properties inside those data tags, or mapping. Depending on the product, you can also create display pages for HMI operator interfaces or remote HMI interfaces via an online web server. You can also write C syntax scripting and execute different programs inside Crimson. We have an online web server. It has a built-in data logger, depending on the product that you select. You have different security features that are inside of it, depending on the product again. You can generate SQL queries. And also, depending on the product, you have the Crimson Control option, which gives you the ability to program in ladder logic, function block, and other IEC 61131 languages. Each one of these menus also has different sub-menus associated with it. Just as an example, let's say I wanted to change the IP address of an Ethernet interface. I will navigate to the Ethernet interface, and as you can see here, in the center, Inside the interface pane, I can make those changes. If I needed resources, for example, in the data logger section, anything on the right side can be a drag and drop onto the screen inside the interface pane. For this instance, I want to take these two tags and add them to a data log. I just drag and drop from the resource pane into the data log content section. But we'll get more into that in some future videos. Depending on the product that you have, this interface will change slightly based on the features available on that hardware's options. As an example, if I were to open a new file, select the DA10, you'll notice this interface changes based on the different features that are available inside that product. Thank you very much and stay tuned for future videos where we dive deeper into the different features of Crimson and get specific into different feature sets inside the software. 